Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is just a random slime pokey tutorial DIY slash randomness video. So this video is just going to be about slime, basically. Almost, basically. That's basically all it's going to be about. So, yeah, I'm not, I just made this heart slime, red slime, and I'm putting it in this candy heart. I got from Valentine's Day, but it doesn't really matter because it looks so pretty. And then I'm adding some glitter into white slime, to, and then I'm gonna mix the white and red together to make a pink, which is gonna be so pretty. And I'm making a lot of glitter slime because I have, I just got this glitter, so it's like brand new to me. I've never made glitter slime. The only glitter slime was from glitter glue. I did not add the glitter in itself, even though the same thing but as you can see there's glitter in there and I'm just mixing it in and I did just do two videos I don't know if they're gonna be posted before this or after this so now I'm just gonna mix it together so I did already mix it but it's gonna turn to this beautiful beautiful glittery heart pink now I really want a nice Pokeable glittery slime. Now this is a beautiful glitter. It has your pokeable. It is extremely pokeable. And it is matching the container. How cute is that? Look at this. Like you could just pour it in, let it sit. Make sure that your container is kind of flat. Mine isn't, but if you were to do this, make sure that your container is level. So, now you have this heart filled with slime. It's so cute. And I did make a couple of slimes. So, this video is going to be a miniature slime collection once again. So, I only have three slimes to show you. So, and a couple of them you may have already seen in my videos. Before this or after this, depending. So let's get started. So the first slime that I want to show you is called Winter Wonderland. Now, um, this is a beautiful color. It is a white with glitter, and I'm using Create Oology slime for glitter. Sorry, guys, but it's super glittery. So this is it, and I love that noise. So I'm putting it back and peeling it. Cause it's so cool, and it's super stretchy, super pokeable. So yeah, and if you want to learn how to make any of these slimes, these are my classic best slime ever slime. If you guys want to learn, then I've got this more watery best ever slime, but it's the same. But more, just more watery and sticker, sticky. So I am gonna pour a drop of Tide in, cause it is a little bit too sticky for my liking. But this one I put in a little Valentine's container, and it's the color of the container. Look at how adorable. This one's more of a lighter red than the container, but it kind of looks orange on camera, but it's not orange. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this is only about slime. There's nothing else about this video. It's all containing slime. And, or something that's in the slime or contains slime. So like, I'm talking about Tide, glue, glitter, water, or paint. So that one I call Valentine's. Then I have this neon one with no glitter. I mean, there may be a couple of glitter, but this one is Flarp. I call this one Flarp because it reminds me of that stretchy, bouncy, rubbery like Flarp that you can get at your dollar store. No, it doesn't really bounce, but I mean, it's great for stretching and relieving and just oh, so good. So that's that one, and that's all I have, but I'm probably going to make a, another one because I have more 
containers that I can use. I have more glue, and I'm probably just going to make a white classic slime. But I don't have any white slime, because I always mix it. So I'm probably just going to pour some in, I guess. I don't know how much to pour in, so I'm just kind of guesstimating. Get it? Guesstimating. You're guessing and you're estimating, so... Yeah. And I posted a lot of videos today. I did a vlog and an ASMR in this video. And I might do another vlog tonight. Because I don't do my vlogs throughout the day. I only do them like one time. So like I do a morning vlog. I do an afternoon vlog and an evening vlog sometimes. So it depends. what I feel like and this one is like a really sticky white slime for some reason most of my white slimes that I make aren't that sticky and like I said earlier in some of my earlier videos or later videos depending on when they are posted but um I'm getting clear slime and or clear glue and then I got some clear detergent so Stay tuned for some clear slime making. So, yeah. The slime is too sticky to play with still, as you can see. It's still sticking to the knife or the stirring material that I'm using. And don't worry what I mean knife, I mean butter knife. My parents don't want me to use real knives. Or like sharper knives, so don't worry. And if you aren't able to get anything to mix with, you can just use your hands or like a um, popsicle stick, a straw, a some. You can even use scissors, a pencil. Um, it does not have to be fancy. Like you don't even have to use a spoon. Some people do use spoons. I just don't have any plastic spoons. I only have plastic butter knives. So yeah, and a great big huge shout out towards Get Over Here Games. I love him as a friend, not as something else. But go check him out. He's great. So I do have I do know him personally. So and also go check out Brian Reardon vlog. Brian Reardon vlogs. He does not do any vlogs, unfortunately, but he does do gaming and just talk to you guys. And he's and Brian Reardon vlogs. Um, if you're watching this, you're complaining about me saying that my vlogs aren't like vlogs. Your channel name has a vlog vlogs in it. The name vlogs. When was the last time you vlogged? So, Brian Redden vlog, that's for you. When was the last time you have vlogged? And if you don't vlog, then why is vlogs in your name? That's what I don't understand. Are you complaining about me? At least I do. And at least I do vlogs. I don't care if you think they are vlogs. I don't care if you don't think they are vlogs. But I consider them vlogs. So. So yeah, so I just made this white one. You guys saw me make it. So, and um, the other day I got someone. I did delete their comments. I did not say anything back or anything. But I think it was a hater or something. The person said he or she said, "Um, you don't make your slime from scratch. You buy it, and you can't make it from scratch like you do." And you true fans out there, you just saw me make this, and I did get rid of the video as soon as I saw it, um, so yeah, and if you are a person who hates on my channel, or someone who just doesn't like me, I will block you, report you, and I will say that you are bullying, so, try not to do that stuff or else you will get in trouble. So 
This one's not scented. Some of my slimes are scented. I think only one of them is, but I just made this white one. I really, really like this one. This one's a great slime. So if you have someone who loves slimes that can't really make a lot, and it's Valentine's Day, even though we just passed Valentine's Day, unfortunately, this is great. Just take a candy heart. Take the candy out, put it in a baggie for them. Or you can, like, get yourself a candy heart. Give them a heart with the candy and then a heart without candy with the slime. That would be adorable. Or, like, um, any day would be adorable. Just, this is more meant. Oh, no. Yeah, don't get it on your sleeves, guys. Please don't. But anyways... Um, yeah, just give it to them on, like, their birthday, maybe that would be cute. Or, like, if you know someone who's getting married and there's a couple of kids there, give them their little hearts with candy and stuff in them. And candy, slime, stuff, whatever. But, uh, yeah. This one, I made a silly putty, guys, and this is actually does not contain anything special. The only thing special is glitter, and the way that I made it without using, like, a lot of Tide. I used regular Tide. It's just that I poured a lot of glitter, so it just really stuck to the container, which is good. Because then you would know that your slime is great, but it doesn't stick to you. So if it sticks to the container, but not your hands, you have great, classic, silly putty slime. So, yeah. So this video is just about slime. Probably going to do this video till 25 minutes, because I want this video to be nice and long for you guys out there. And this one's scented. This one smells like, um, what's it called? Cherries. And then this one smells like lilacs. And it smells so good. It smells like, um, lilacs with roses and flowers and that beautifulness. Like I said, this one's more silly pretty like, so I don't really like this one. But, and it's not that pokeable, which is fine. But I'm just saying... I'm only adding a little bit of glue. I do want to save that glue somewhere, so I'm probably going to hide it and then like completely forget about it, even though I just hit it. So I do want to save it. So, neon yellow. And I love the Pokemon one. I'm trying not to play with white slime because um, white slime gets dirty really, really quick. But this is the one that you just saw me make just now. I mean, like, it's pretty simple to make. You don't even need calling to make milk slime. I call it milk because it looks like milk. And it's like, so cool. And I'm trying not to get it all over me, even though know, it's great slime. I want to make another one, but at the same time I don't because I don't want to waste any of my glue right now. So, I might make like a, I don't know, a bead one. I don't know. But, um, these are usually the containers that I use, these ones, or the dessert styled ones. So I usually use something like that for my slimes. And if this video was not as long as I intend to, sorry, but I do want to get going, so... I will see you guys later, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!